Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to display our database items to our Visual Basic.NET program like this one. I'm going to show this one to our program. Now, let's get it started. First of all, we need to drag text box in our form. Then, rename the text box name by in the property window here then type here txt id then control c and control b to paste then name again the text box 2 to text box txt i mean txt full name Now, let's add some two label. Change the name, the text of the label one to ID. The label two, change it to full name. Okay, now I've done that. Let's arrange it a bit. Yeah. Now, once you have done designing, guys, double click now on the form. Okay. Now, you notice we are now in the coding part. First thing we need to do is declare our import. Our import we're going to be import space system dot data dot db then after we declare our import we're now going to declare our variable for connection connection is the one that will open and close the connection to our database and to our program now to declare it type here dim space con and con by the way is our variable for connection as new OLED DB connection then once you have declared our variable for connection we're now going to declare its connection string type here con dot connection string is equal to quotation mark type here provider equals to Microsoft dot jet dot OLEDB OLEDB dot 4.0 semicolon data source okay our provider when we are using Microsoft Access 2003 is Microsoft dot jet dot OLEDB dot 4.0 and data source is where our database is located if you notice my database is located at local disk C and the name of my database is sample.mdb now let's open the connection by typing here con.open okay now we have done that <coughs> click your cursor after the end sub then hit enter now we're now going to create a new sub and let's call this as show items private sub show items okay now once you have declared our new sub we're now going to declare the other things we need in order to display our database items to our program first thing we need to do declare our data set okay by doing that type here again dim ds and ds is our variable for data set as new data set declare data table again dt is our variable for data table as new data table 
and we're going to add our DT to our data set by doing that type here ds that tables that add DT okay after that we're going to declare our date adapter type here dim space da as new OLED DB data adapter now after we've done declaring we're now going to specify our data adapter we'll do that type here da is equals to new OLED TV data adapter open parentheses rotation select asterisk from phone book table comma con okay let me explain this a bit if you notice in the quotation mark a quotation mark inside the quotation mark again by the way is select asterisk from phone book table meaning I'm going to select all the data in the phone book table but for example I want only the field ID I'm going to change the select query like this select ID from phone book table and if I want only the full name, I'm going to select it full name. Okay, but for this video, I'm going to select asterisk. Okay, once you have done the data adapter, we're going to fill now the data table. DA that fill DT. Now, once you have done that. Okay, now we're go going to display our database items to our text box now. To do that, type here txt id that text equals to dt dot row zero dot items zero. By the way guys, if you notice data table dot row zero meaning I am at row zero here, then row zero here, and then item is equ equivalent to column and column is zero meaning row zero here and column zero here and that one is ID and the item is one. Now okay after that we declare now again the full name txt full name dot text equals to dt dot row zero dot item one okay if you notice I changed the value of item one because full name is in the column one here row zero and column one now after that let's close the connection con that close okay let's go back to private sub form and load then go below the con that open and type here show i show items okay this code means that we are calling the private sub show items into this part okay let's test if the code is working click the debug button see now I have display my database items to um, our text box let's check one and Mr. Dan one and Mr. Dan okay what if I want to display the row 2 I row 1 I mean the 2 and Mr. Dan then okay to do that type here stop the code execution J 
change the value of dt that throws to 1 and 1 okay play again and see the display is changed okay thank you guys again if you have some questions you can just leave a comment or email me okay thanks for watching